I just want justice. I just want justice for my son. That's, that's the best he deserves. Tonight, we're hearing from the father of a Durham boy who was murdered during a family outing. Seven-year-old Kamari Munnerlin had just enjoyed a day at the pool when shots came through the SUV he was riding in. Our Amy Cutler spoke with his family and joins us live with their story. Amy. Sharon, Sean, his father is devastated, emotions raw. He says his son was so full of life and love, and now he's gone. It's hard to imagine the kind of pain, the heartbreak that Theo Munnerlin is experiencing. His seven-year-old son, Kamari, was killed in a drive-by shooting. He was a bright little boy. Just birthday coming up in November, about to be eight years old. Ready, looking forward to it. All of that came to an abrupt end Sunday evening. Police saying the Eastway Elementary School first grader was in an SUV with his mother and eight other people, four of them children. They were coming from a local pool. That's when police tell us someone in another vehicle opened fire at them. The driver of that SUV then drove to a nearby Tokyo Express on Guest Road. Police telling us a flat tire stopped them from getting to the hospital. Munnerlin saw his son earlier that day. That was the last time I seen him. Last time I talked to him, said bye. I didn't even get a chance to say I love you. I just hope that the, that the person that did this goes to jail and they never see the light of day again. Durham Police Chief C.J. Davis holding a press conference on the shooting. She called it tragic and senseless, but also targeted. Davis says a man in the SUV fled. Two others went to the hospital. We know that people in the community have information on this incident. I am personally asking anyone with information to come forward. He took my world. No, no. Only son I had. Innocent seven-year-old boy. A heartbroken family left hoping and praying for justice. Now, I just checked with Durham police. They tell us there are no updates on this active, ongoing investigation. But again, they are urging anyone with information on the shooting to give them a call. Live in Durham, I'm Amy Cutler, CBS, North Carolina.